My name's Jennifer Ryan and I'm an Objects Conservator at the National Museum of Australia. Conservation is a really interesting field because it draws upon all different kinds of knowledge. I like to think of it in terms of a Venn diagram where you have science, the arts and history and conservation sits right in the middle there providing a crossover of knowledge from those three disciplines and then we use our historical knowledge to help inform the decisions that we make around the treatment of our objects. I don't think there really is a typical day for an objects conservator. On one day we could be condition reporting, uh, photographing, documenting and treating a bark painting. On another day we might be installing play school in rural Australia. We actually are constantly out and about in the museum working on exhibitions, working on loans, preparing objects for the permanent galleries and doing all sorts of different things. When we receive a bark painting into the lab, the first thing that we do is we carry out a condition report, photography and documentation. Barks are a little bit of a, a tricky object actually, they're really exciting to work on. So a lot of these are yeah. new losses. The cracking is actually it's relatively right. stable, that hasn't changed a huge amount. That bark base layer that the paint is placed on the surface of constantly moves and shifts. So even in what you might think is a very stable uh, environmental condition, a bark will still continue to curl and move in response to those changes in the environment. So you end up with the pigment lifting or flaking off the surface of the bark or tenting where the substrate shrinks a little bit and the pigment pops up like this in the shape of a tent. So we try to control those environmental changes and make sure that there's minimal change in humidity and temperature. But we also carry um, out interventive treatments, which is where we might re-adhere those lifting um, paint flakes to make sure that we don't experience any more deterioration or loss of the surface of the paint. In conservation, we're really fussy about the sorts of adhesives that we use to carry out treatments. So we use a special adhesive called Trifonori, a Japanese red seaweed derivative. So it's highly refined seaweed that is water soluble and we can apply it with a very tiny brush and wick that adhesive in underneath the paint flakes, which then sucks the paint flakes down to the surface of the bark and makes sure that we don't lose those flakes. At the museum, we have a method of mounting our barks on strapping frames so that the bark have little lips that it sits upon like this and it allows the bark just enough movement so that it can move and shift on display without um, contributing to any deterioration. But it also means that we can efficiently hang them on the wall or transport them for loan or exhibition without putting the barks at risk. So my role as an objects conservator I feel is quite important because our job is to preserve the material history of um, Australia and at the National Museum we're all about telling Australian stories and sharing our understanding of Australia and we do that through preserving the objects that tell those stories.